Silk Central Test Manager, JNET Test Type Setup Overview. What we'll cover in this recording is how to use the JUnit test type, how to create a new JUnit test definition in your test plan, configuring your new JUnit test definition, and accessing the results of your JUnit test definition. There are a few additional resources that may be helpful to you. Silk Central Test Manager, Source Control Profile Setup, Silk Central Test Manager, Test Packages, and Silk Central Test Manager, Calling a Third-Party Testing Tool. Let's take a look at how to use the JUnit test type and configure it. Start by navigating to the test plane area of your Silk Central Test Manager project. In the test plan tree, choose the area where you'd like to add your JUnit test definition. In my example, I'm going to add it to my unit test container. On the right, you can see all the properties of my container, including the source control profile, which will have information about where to access my JUnit test from. Expand out the tree, right click on the folder or container, and choose new child test definition. At this point, you'll give it a name and a description, and at the bottom, in the Type dropdown, you'll choose JUnit Test, and go on to Next. Here you'll fill in all the pertinent information about the test class you'd like to run. The test class, the method if there is a specific one, the home directory, and the class path. Let's take a look at one I've set up. Mine is called JUnit Test Sample. And on the right, you can see all the details that I've filled in. When you're first creating your test definition, these are the fields you'll be filling in. Here I've included the name of the class. And in the class path field, I've added the path to the actual JUnit jar file, as well as my test class jar file called basic JUnit.zip. This includes my JUnit test case. And choose Finish. At this point, you treat this test definition as you would any other test definition being managed by Silk Central. You could include it in execution definitions, and you can run it from here. Silk Central Test Manager also includes functionality for importing your tests directly from the results and converting to test packages. See the corresponding recording for more details on this. Also, you'll be able to access run information about each execution. If you come to the far right Runs tab, you'll be able to see every time this test definition is executed and drill down to the results. For example, my most recent execution, 5147, I can click on and see details of the run, time and date, outcome, etc. I can also view the files associated with this, including the output. I can also see messages. So, for example, this tells me the outcome of some of the verifications in my JUnit tests. One of the verifications was making sure that the outcome was 99, but in this case it was 98. See the additional resources notes on the intro to this recording about how to use the output files and view details. So we've just looked at how to create a new JUnit test definition in your test plan how to configure it, and how to access your results. This has been Silk Central Test Manager, JUnit Test Type Setup Overview.